Hi guys, I'm back. I wanted to come back with a Let's Talk episode. And as you know, I don't do them very often. In fact, this is probably only my second one. But I received an email at the beginning of this month. And the email is from Vemesia84. Hey girl. And she is writing me from Canada. And the topic was just so poignant and just so Felicia that I just had to share it with you. So I asked her if she you know minded me sharing it with my YouTube family and uh, she was very gracious enough to say you know no I don't mind uh, just a note if you see me looking down I'm looking at my computer and I'm actually just reading her email and the notes um, so I'm just gonna read to you the email and she tells me that she needs some advice and again thank you Vemesia for watching my channel she says I am pretty new to the world of wigs and your vids have helped me a lot okay so I have a problem I love the wigs and just like you I love to change my style up pretty frequently. The only thing is that I am kind of self-conscious about changing my hair up maybe too often and having people of other races at school and at work you know they are asking her a lot of questions about it. I do try to keep my wigs a, at a certain length and color so that the change isn't too obvious but I'm in Canada and people of other races um, are just fascina fascinated about her hair. I get questions all the time, even in my own family. My boyfriend's family, who is of another race, um, they question her as well. And I never know what to say. Do I tell them it's a wig or do I give them a vague answer, she asks. And even then, what do I say? Please help. This has been bugging me a lot and it keeping me from enjoying my wigs fully much love from Canada um, before I answer that I want to add the PS that she sent me a little while later she says that she had gone out to dinner with her boyfriend and his sister and a few of their cousins and she was having a great time until Miss Thang leaned over grabbed a strand of her hair and she was wearing a half wig and loudly said this isn't your hair right what is it is it extensions I know black people do all kinds of things with their hair but I know I'm just as shocked as you and this is why I wanted to share this email with you so she wants me to give her some advice on how to deal with those naysayers and their millions of questions about your hair okay so I'm going to share with you Vemesia 84 how I deal with individuals who question what is on top of your head watch this okay so call that the stare down technique when someone asks you if this is your real hair no need to fuss no need to argue no need to snap those fingers you just give them the stare down technique I'm telling you it works every time when you totally ignore what I consider number one is disrespectful but when you totally ignore a question that is none of their business and you don't respond it makes that person feel small because once again they're left hanging wondering what the you know what you know what the heck why isn't this person responding to what I just asked and they get the idea and the understanding that they're getting a little bit too personal um, what I found in the many years of wearing wigs I think I started wearing wigs like in the early 90s and I do want to say this I have experienced all type of experiences and comments with my hair as far as people commenting and things like that and I'm talking about from my own family my own mother hates wigs she hates the fact that I wear wigs she doesn't like weaves she doesn't like any of that stuff 
So that was, I think, the best teacher for me because it taught me that you have to really be a strong, confident person to basically say, I don't care, you know, what you think about what I'm wearing on my head. So you develop a lot of self-confidence, uh, excuse me, especially when it's coming from your own mama. So one thing that I found, though, is that people are really intrigued when you do something that they wish that they can do. You know, I always encourage, you know, beginners who are just coming into the world of wigs to, you know, always start off with a style that's similar to their own. And I, I say that because, again, you have to build up that confidence. There's a certain confidence and a certain air that you must have when you step out in a full lace wig or, you know, your weave or your half wigs. Because there's always going to be that one person who has to question you, whether it's the cashier at Walmart or whether it's, you know, um, the busboy at the restaurant or it's your nosy blank blank coworker who is, you know, is just so obsessed with you changing your looks that they can't concentrate on the work that they should be doing in the first place. So I think it's the, you know, they're just intrigued and, and they don't understand.